something beautiful? Oh, it's <laughs> just breathtaking. I've been to some, you know, pretty breathtaking places in my life, but this is wonderful. I think the reviews of the movie will read, will read, the movie was pretty good. The wine was great. <laughs> <laughs> he does make good wine, doesn't he? Does he? Make wonderful wine. Good yeah. stuff. All right. All right. Matt Damon, I have not had the pleasure of interviewing you before, but I want to tell you, I am so impressed with your performance oh, in you. this movie. Thank you. I know it is your first starring role, and I'm sure that uh, you went into it with feelings of exhilaration, but I'm wondering also, knowing that you were working with Academy Award winners, and yeah. that this is your first starring role in a movie. Were you a little bit like your character, who is the young law student who goes into the big firm? Was there a parallel there? Absolutely. I felt totally outgunned. <laughs> and so when, uh, when I showed up, I, I, I obsessively prepared for the role so that I, I felt, I felt because I, I wanted to feel ready. Of course, that, that didn't help. I never quite felt ready um, in, in kind of staring down John Voight. Or, you know, I mean, it's, it's just a pretty hard thing to do. He's a, he's a pretty amazing actor. And to and to work with Francis, um, Francis was great in the sense that he 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 really helps you feel at ease. I think he knew immediately that I that I was scared and and that it was you know it was hard for me to you know because I mean here we are you know in Napa in this beautiful place and and this is where we came to rehearse and I, I showed up here with a bag and just looking around saying oh man what happened to me you know <laughs> I was eating at Burger King yesterday you know so. You're working also with Teresa Wright. Oh, yeah. And uh, a fabulous actress and an Academy Award winner. <laughs> you bet. What, what were those scenes like? That for was you? actually the best time that I had was working with Teresa Wright. She's, she is one of the most wonderful women. She's just an amazing woman. I mean, I, I fell in love with her. She, for my birthday, she got me these flowers. She drove all over Memphis trying to find me these flowers that she thought would be nice, you know, a little plant for my. For, for, for the trailer that they had me in and she was just she's just it's a dear woman and there was actually a wonderful moment when um, a woman showed up with a picture from 1942 of Teresa Wright that was signed and she said I had the pleasure of meeting you in 1942 would you re-sign this picture and, and we just stood there and watched she pulled it out of this frame and Teresa re-signed it Teresa Wright 1996 and they put it back in the frame and the two of them had this moment it was just really it was amazing I mean it was She's, she's a legend. She's a legend. Did you ever get to talk with John Grisham? Yes, I did talk with, uh, with John Grisham, and he, and, he, and he was a pretty charming fellow himself. Francis actually <laughs> had a really funny thing that he said one day. He, he was sitting there kind of moping, and he was sitting in this rocking chair, and he said, that John Grisham, he has everything. I mean, he's charming, he's talented, he's good-looking, he's rich. And everybody kind of sat there and like, what's Francis going to say? And he goes, I know, he's not Italian. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone started laughing. But yeah, John Grisham is a, is a really nice guy. And he came for the table reading. He came and he, and he took me aside and, and he talked to me and, uh, and, and was just very kind of complimentary. And, and, and just, you know, it was, he was also very aware of kind of the pressure that was on me. And he was trying to take it off me and just said, don't worry about it, you're going to be fine. And he yeah, was a very, yeah, he's a smooth guy. It's pretty much his story, though, isn't it? Yeah. Very yeah. comparable to his own absolutely. life. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you feel a certain sense of responsibility. That's why I, I research so hard. I, I really, you know, you know, I don't want to let anybody down. So. Did you talk with Matthew McConaughey or yeah. Chris O'Donnell because they played Grisham right. characters? Right. I talked to Matthew quite a bit. and He just looked at me like, oh, boy, <laughs> <laughs> you're in for it now. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you know, Matthew was very, you know, he has such a positive outlook on life um, that, that, that he's a great person to talk to. You feel better every time you hang up the phone with Matthew because he, uh, he said, don't worry about it, you're going to be just fine. Everything's all right, <laughs> you know. You've and, got his accent down. <laughs> I know him pretty well. He's a, he's a terrific guy. And I mean, I, you know, I, I don't know if I'll have the success that he had, but, um, but uh, he certainly was was instrumental in making and in putting me at ease. You know, all these people kind of came out of the woodwork to kind of put me at ease a little bit. It was very nice. Very well, nice. you're off and running, Matt. And oh, thank uh, you. Uh, you have two more pictures coming out. We're going to be talking with you soon again now. Uh, you're in a picture with Robin Williams, Goodwill yeah. Hunting. Yeah. And I can't wait to talk with you about that. And Great. all the best to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
really is a wonderful perfume.